Hello everyone. All those following me on Twitter have already seen it and maybe expected such a video to be uploaded eventually. So where do I start this best? The essential part straight up. I am leaving competitive Splatoon. But how did we get here? Let's take a look back at the time when Partricum disbanded. We decided to end our journey as we couldn't make any more progress and the general motivation to play and grade the game hit rock bottom. I was lucky that Sarn DM'd me trying to get a squad together and Void Strike was born. Our lineup was strong and we went from 0 to 100 in a matter of weeks, showing top performance from the beginning. This fast success was energizing but couldn't solve the problem that still lay deeper within. In the end, the game was still the same. The meta still messed up and the competitive scene shattered into free agents. As time moved on, these thoughts came back and I questioned what I was doing. My performance became inconsistent and not only I, but also the team suffered from that. With taking more days off, playing less, I had the chance to enjoy the world outside of scrims and tourneys. I went out with friends and had to chill evenings. Something that I spent way too less time with now looking back at the past few years. Do I regret playing Splatoon competitively? No, not at all. I met so many great people in the scene, made close friends that helped me through rough times and made the good ones even better. I even met the love of my life through this game. I learned many important lessons and became the player and person that I am today. And how do I want to continue on? Without team-related duties, I'm left with much more time to spend as I wanted to. Another aspect that came short during my active time was my health, both physical and mentally. I intend to do frequent workouts and get in a better shape to feel more comfortable with myself again. And since Platoon did so much for me, I will forever love the franchise. I can't and won't turn away from the game entirely. The first things that come to my mind are casting tournaments and acting as a coach for mid-level teams. There are some minor in-game goals left that I might try to achieve as well, but nothing to force myself to. Where you are mostly guaranteed to meet me will probably be league battles. The grind never stops. So what about YouTube content? Competitive related videos make up 80 or more percent of all my content. Playing with my team therefore was the easiest way to produce something for you. I believe that the video output will decrease, but not stop. I have way too much fun to just quit. <laughs> my first collection of ideas tends towards going back to the origins, what my first intentions with recordings were, learning and reflecting from my gameplay. There is so much to share and explain, so many experience and tricks that might help you and your team grow stronger. I could also imagine doing thoughts and discussion videos on relevant topics. And one specific project that sounds great on paper that I still have to think through is a sport documentary, a body transformation or however you want to call it. I'll try to take you with me on my journey towards a healthier life and maybe in one year, I can show you the results and you can watch the development. The future will tell. If you're interested in daily, smaller content, make sure to follow me on Twitter at the underscore master artist or even my Instagram at the underscore master underscore artist. Both are linked below. To slowly come to an end, some honorable mentions. Huge shout outs to the teams I got to play on. S4, Partricum, Void Strike. They meant my start, rise, and peak in the competitive scene. I value my mates a lot. Thank you. Best regards to the closest friends I made along the way Tim, Rosen, Steini, Vani, Flaming, Graciel, and Shio. Much respect for my biggest comp and constant inspirations. Dude, Chera, Negus, Brian, and Kronos. 
Best wishes to my league grinding buddies, Bowsquid, Fanta, Forge, Johnny, and Synapse. And finally, much love to my wonderful girlfriend, Lindarm. To close things up, I want to give you two quote quotes on the way. A familiar one and a little addition. Finality is not what it seems. When your end comes, rise up and run. Don't let defeat dissolve your dreams. Don't feel sad because someone is gone. Be happy that they were there. Thank you for all the kind words and replies. I appreciate you all. May my legacy live on.